You're listening to the Warrior Rulebook Podcast with me, Monique Harmon. I love helping people express themselves, protect their peace, and be confident in being them. You may also know me as Pretty Niki, who started her online journey as a modest fashion blogger. Now I'm an entrepreneur. You'll see through my experiences and the experiences of others that change is possible, improvement is tasty, and meaningful connection is transformational. Come on, share your story with me. I am so excited for today's episode because being in a rut is tough and people are asking you how you're doing and you might be saying same old, same old, and just being in the same routine, it can get very stale. So I want to give you three small changes that you can make that can change your life and bring more impact. So the first one is tweak your routine. So if you normally get up course you wash and you might just read the paper or drink coffee I don't even know if anybody even reads the paper anymore but this is just an example of a routine maybe a different way that you can remix it is actually go out to breakfast sometimes like a little treat or maybe meet up with a friend and you guys just talk debrief share what's on your mind and encourage each other and then you just go about your day or if that is too hard maybe you can start by sending voice notes to each other that can be a refreshing way for you to communicate with a friend early in the morning and of course don't forget god talk to god when you wake up that's really important so don't change that keep that and if you're not doing it i want to encourage you to talk to him So that's the first way. Now, the second one is if you find that you are constantly failing at something, you probably have heard this before, but try something different because if you want different results, you're going to have to try something different. Sometimes when you do try something different, it may still not work. So just keep trying something different. And of course, you know, ask for help if you are able to. So that way you can have a better outcome um, quicker. And the third one is to explore your free time. So some people I know, not mentioning any names, but some people when they're having free time, their definition is not leaving the house and just resting. And I get it because sometimes you are constantly on the go so much that you don't even want to think about having to go and do something, right? Something as little as going to the park or going to see a movie seems like a lot, especially when you don't want to leave. And so I definitely understand that, but I do want to suggest that you explore your free time because even if you don't leave the house, you can do different things to relax, like have a at-home spa experience or just connect with someone, connect with your friends and just see if there is a way that you guys can do something different together. I know, for example, sometimes I do like to watch movies or Korea dramas with my friends. And so that was something that was just simply new. And like, we didn't have to meet up or anything. We could just stay in our house. You can take up painting, take up a nice relaxing hobby that doesn't take a lot of energy out of you and see if you're inspired. I think when we try to do different things in an artistic sense and just relax, there's no pressure on us, right? It's not like a school assignment where you have to perfectly paint something. No, you're just letting your mind wander and you are doing something, expressing it. Even if you have an instrument, you take an instrument or you want to practice something new that is relaxing, that can be a incredible way to explore new things while still relaxing so you can also of course I want to mention you can of course go to different like gardens I love going to different gardens that are pretty famous and just getting lost in the space that's pretty much what the idea is to kind of just get lost in the time you know and just relax and be at peace and kind of leave your obligations just for a little bit. And then that way, when you come back, you'll be that much more 
refresh. So these are the three top ways and their small changes that you can make in order to have a bigger impact on your life and infuse inspiration into you. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Warrior Rulebook podcast. If you like what you heard, share it with a friend and join me over at the Warrior Rulebook podcast insider group on Facebook. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more tips on how to be resilient in this world.